Hi everyone. So if you are working in machine learning or in data science, then you will know that UCI machine learning repository is a very well known uh, platform where we can find very useful data sets. And uh, these are coming from some real life experiments and uh, scientific results. If I want to use any of these data set in my Azure machine learning experiment, then what will be the way? So let's suppose I want to use this first data set, which is well known IRI, IRIS data set or IRIS data set. So if I click on that, it will show me the detail of this data set. Here we can see the statistics of this data set and the actual data set is here inside this data folder and this one is the actual data set table so if i want to use this data set in my machine learning experiment there is a way to save it to local drive and then import uh, save it to csv and then import but if i want to directly import this data from the URL link, what will be the way? It is possible. Um, here I have created a blank experiment and to import the URL link, I will type here import and it will show me the import data. Inside the import data, I will select web URL via HTTP and here I will provide the direct link to the data set data set table here I have provided and because you see there isn't any header in this data set so I will not check this one and the second one is showing the option if I will click on that it will cache the result and on subsequent rerun it will not take the new data from the web URL if if you want to take the updated data every time on each run then don't click on that okay if i run this one it will show me the data extracted from the url once it has been run i can go and visualize uh, these are 151 rows with five columns but the column names are not specified here because column header was not there so what what i can do i can go to the repository again and here in each data set you will find something like dot names so inside dot names if i go there is a description about this data set and here is the attribute information so what I can do, I can, uh, there were five variables and these are the five as well. So I can copy the name from here and can uh, paste up to here to paste. I will go to the metadata. There is edit metadata option. I will click it here and select the link and inside here I have the option of new column names and i will put one by one with the comma separated this was for the first one and this should be in order and we can put a space as well there is no problem a space can be provided and this is for the third one which is the petal length and this is the fifth uh, fourth one and this is the last one class target class which will show the species and it is asking uh, the value required so it is asking that on which columns it should operate i will select all these columns so this component will basically rename these five columns to these labels and if I run it 
Now can see the results. Visualize it and you can see the column header assigned to these columns. Mm, one thing should be noticed that inside the these columns there is one missing value. And so indeed there are 151 rows but including one missing value. If I want to remove that missing value, can easily remove that by using the clean missing data. Drag it here, put a link and here I just want to remove the raw having the missing value so I can select this and as well as I would like to summarize the data so here is a summarize data option it will summarize the data and I will also would like to export this sum summary um, statistics to the CSV file so to do this I will convert it into the CSV here is the CSV and I can also uh, use the convert CSV with this data like if I put it here and make it a link with it so what it will do it it will allow me to export the data set with column names and uh, if I want to use the data set that don't have missing value then I will I can link with that one so this will export the data set with column headers and missing value removed so I will run it and see the result again okay results are ready to see the results um, of after the missing value treatment applied there should be one raw removed we have only 150 raws and there isn't any missing value and uh, we can see that the whole data set can be now converted into csv and we can download it into csv format to our local drive and here we'll, we can see the summary statistics this is the feature name for the sepal length there are 150 counts or 150 variables 35 are unique values no missing value minimum value is this one maximum is this one mean and these are some uh, statistical values mean deviation first quarter first quartile median third quartile mod range sample variance sample standard deviation and there are a lot of other like the percentile values are available to see and these are very useful value if if you want to export this data i have applied this convert csv and just download it to your local drive and you can use it in your any additional project and you can open it in excel as well to see what has been created so this is uh, exported data in the excel so thank you very much for watching this tutorial.